What's going on guys? So this is another Python exercise and this is going to be aimed at beginners. So this exercise is going to involve palindromes. Basically we're trying to figure out if a word is a palindrome or if it's not a palindrome. Now what exactly is a palindrome? So a palindrome is a word that is the same if you flip it over. So for instance something like level, if you uh, read it from left to right it's L-E-V-E-L -E but if you read it from right to left, it's also L-E-V-E-L. -E so those are basically palindromes. Another one is madam. Uh, if you read it from left to right or right to left, it comes out to be the same word. And finally, uh, refer, which is another example. So I've created a function called palindrome and it takes in a string object. And it returns if that is a palindrome or not. So this one is a palindrome. Now, if I do the same, palindrome levels, so this is not going to be a palindrome, and returns not palindrome. Uh, let me try one more, let's see, test. So test is not a palindrome. All right, so basically it's a simple function that tests whether a string object is a palindrome or not. All right, so I want you guys to give it a try, and then after you're finished with your efforts, uh, I'll show you guys my solution. Okay, so welcome back guys. So this is my solution. It's basically checking if a string object is equal to the reverse of it. Now if you don't understand this uh, syntax, basically what we're doing is we're slicing and indexing the string object, but the minus one is actually the step parameter. So when you slice, you have the beginning of the slice, the end of the slice, and then you have a third parameter which is optional called the step parameter. So if you look at the syntax, you'll see that we have two colons. The first colon separates the start and the end, and the second colon will separate the end from the step parameter. So to the left of the first colon is the start, to the right of the first colon is the end, and then to the right of the second colon is going to be the step parameter. But since we have not filled the uh, left and right of the first colon, which represents the start and end of the indexing, that defaults to the entire string. So whenever you don't give any parameters to the start index or the end index, the string object will automatically default to the entire string. Now I've actually gone more in depth on this in my string video. So I'm not sure if my string video is going to be out by the time I release this, but I'll be trying to release the string video before I release this video. So it goes more in depth of slicing and indexing when it comes to string objects. So that's it. So this string object, uh, colon, colon, negative one, is something you should probably memorize or be uh, very familiar with because that's how you reverse a string object in Python. So colon, colon, negative one will reverse the string and all we're doing is we're comparing the string object to the reverse. Now if the string object and the reverse are the same, it's of course a palindrome. If not, it's not a palindrome. All right, guys, if you have any questions uh, regarding this, uh, just let me know within the comment sections on YouTube. And if there are any other types of videos you'd like to see, you can uh, inform me of that as well. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.